Good morning. How you guys all doing? Thanks for tuning in to another tasting experience with Key Encounters. Today we're going to be having ourselves a wonderful cup of coffee with Merlin's Munchies Coffee um, and their flavor that is in today's episode is one that I've been eyeballing for a while and I'm glad I was able to get one and it is their the blueberry band um blueberry coffee i mean come on how many of us have um have added like some sort of fruit flavoring creamer to our um to our coffee i've been guilty of it you know you try some different stuff out there um this is a brand new bag so i had to cut it before the recording so here we go fresh bag here it is jammy i'm getting muddled jammy blueberries doesn't smell like candy so it has that sort of good morning aromatic i mean blueberries right we think of blueberries you put that on your pancakes you have it in your pancakes like it's like a compote almost that is fresh now Coffee aside, the coffee always smells wonderful from these guys. When we're talking fresh, their packaging um, is phenomenal. These bags are great, so you're definitely not going to um, have a diminished product by the time you get it. But I could do this all day, to be honest with you. That blueberry's on point. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a nice cup of coffee and... Um, Basically, uh, let's see if that blueberry is uh, rocking out. Now, let's get our taste on. Well, sorry, not the taste. I'm jumping the gun here because the whole garage smells like blueberries. All right, for the fragrance on this one, very subtle. You can smell blueberry. But it's subtle. It's not a predominant. I'm in your face. Um, but it does smell like a nice, good roasted cup of coffee with blueberry essence, if that makes sense. Not a lot going on here, but it's there. But it's very delicate. So that's all right with me. Nothing wrong with that because sometimes we just want our coffee, right? And let's find out if that blueberry is at least in that, in that palette. So I'm lost for words here, right? Now here's why. How you get blueberry to work with coffee to this extent? Here's what it tastes like to me. It tastes honestly like if I had blueberry compote on a pancake and I washed it down with a straight up black cup of coffee. I don't understand how this blueberry flavor is even overpowering the coffee to the extent that I'm like, I'm eating blueberries and then I'm thirsty and I'm gonna, like, it's, it's an interesting combination to where blueberry is intense enough to compete with a black cup of coffee. Now, all my coffee lovers know a good black cup of coffee, it's pretty predominant. You got to kind of really add in the flavoring and really change the color in order to balance it out if you're one of those people who add stuff in your cup of coffee. But this blueberry is right on par with the coffee. 
which makes it a very interesting, bizarre combination that you saw what I was doing. I'm, I'm, I'm out to, I really want to drink the entire cup. It makes me feel good. That is an interesting situation for coffee to have fruit at the level and intensity to match a black cup of coffee says a lot. Again, I'm not paid by this company. If ever I run across a, a, a flavor that these guys have ever put out, I always that I will be honest and go in these things um, just with an just with an open mind, right? We're supposed to do that because you're gonna miss out on something if you think, "Ugh, that sounds terrible," or like, "Why would you do that?" I'm telling you now that is that is if we place coffee in the realm of breakfast and you drink this you're going to get breakfast. And I'm telling you now, hands down, this is this is really good. That blueberry's on point. It's it's not acidic coffee. It's not bitter coffee. It is clean coffee. Um if you're a person who's trying to cut back on your sugar intake or you're like, man, these creamers are getting expensive, but I love coffee. And you got to make decisions. I think this is going to be a great financial investment because you don't need to add anything to to their coffee. And I'm telling you, if someone's like, I can't drink it black because you didn't find a good balance of flavor. And I think you should start here. And with that said, guys, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me um, for this tasting. And until next time and their links are located below this video. Until next time, have a good one, guys.